welcome to season two of Nawaz's Water Wars. This is the second semi-final round in the competition and I am your host, Linda Briefboy. This competition is brought to you by the National Water and Sewage Authority, Nawasa, and the German Agency for International Cooperation, GIZ, as part of the International Water Stewardship Program, IWASP, funded by the governments of Germany and the UK, and implemented in cooperation with the Ministry of Agriculture, Lands, Forestry, Fisheries and the Environment. Of course, we would like to also recognize our other partners whom without this competition would not have been made possible. They are Flo Grenada, Grenville Credit Union, Video Moments, GUT Credit Union and Digicel Grenada. Remember, this competition started off with 14 schools on June 27th, and eight of those schools made it into the semi-final round today. They will take to the battlefield with the aim of earning a spot in our live grand finale, and that's happening on July 1st, that's this coming Friday. Four schools will participate, then two from this semi-final will be selected to take part in the finals on Friday. For the benefit of the participants, our audience and viewers at home, the following are the competition rules. Number one, all responses should be phrased in the form of a question. That is, who is or what is? Number two, questions will be asked only once. They will not be repeated. Number three, players are only allowed to buzz in after I am finished reading the questions. Number five, sorry, number four, five seconds is the allotted time for response. Number five, each player will have one attempt per question. If the player who buzzed in first is incorrect and do not come up with a response, the question will be then offered once to the other players who will then have only three seconds to respond. Six, in the dispatch and combat rounds, if players fail to answer the questions correctly and I provide the answer, the last person having the correct response will be allowed to choose the next clue. Number seven, for the interruption clues, players are only allowed five seconds to respond. Only the player who burst in first will be allowed to respond and for the benefit of the participants, this clue will not be offered. And finally, Players are allowed 30 seconds to respond to the loan question in the destruction round of competition. Their responses or answers should be written on the sheet of paper provided and they ought to ensure that their handwriting is legible. So from our first semi-final game, we have the Hillsborough Secondary School all the way from Karakou and also the Anglican High School moving on to the finals come July 1st this Friday. So it's time to meet our competitors for the second semi-final round and of course we'll start with St. Joseph's Convent, St. George. Good afternoon, my name is Erin Williams and I'm a fourth form student of the St. Joseph's Convent, St. George. Grenada Boys Secondary School. Good afternoon, my name is Rachel McPhail and I'm a fourth form student of the Grenada Boys Secondary School. St. Andrew Anglican Secondary School. My name is Sholon Pierre. I'm a food form student of SAS. And St. David Catholic Secondary. My name is Christy David and I'm a third form student of St. David's Catholic Secondary School. Okay, thank you very much participants and all the best. And without further ado, let's get into the categories of this round of the competition. They are, give me a W, give me an A, give me a T, Give me an E, and finally, give me a R. St. Joseph's Convent, St. George's, please be honored to choose the first clue. Can I have, give me a T for $30, please? Give me a T for $30. This is the total number of water systems responsible for serving Nawasa's over 40,000 consumers. Grenada Boys Secondary. What is 22? I'm sorry, that is incorrect. The question is now offered. St. Joseph's Convent. What is 30? You are correct. Can I have, give me an E for $30, please? Give me an E for $30. 
Residential customers are obligated to pay this amount if they want their supply reconnected after having been disconnected. Grenada Boy Secondary. What is $86.25? You are correct. Give me a T for $40. Give me a T for $40. And you have chosen the interruption clue. Please be reminded that you are playing for an education savings plan from the GUT Credit Union. And that clue, give me a T for $40. Seeking to receive water by our tankers, this department ensures that your request is approved. Transmission and Distribution Department. And you are correct. Give me an E for $40, please. Give me an E for $40. The process of transferring moisture from the earth to the atmosphere by evaporation of water and transpiration from plants. St. Andrew Anglican Secondary. What is evapotranspiration? You are correct. Give me an R for $40, please. Give me an R for $40. This watershed tackles the issue of pollution from ridge to reef. St. Andrew Anglican Secondary. What is Grandin's watershed? I'm sorry, that is incorrect. It is now offered. St. David Catholic's Secondary. Grandin's watershed. I'm sorry, that is also incorrect. The correct answer is what is Richmond Hill or Watershed Partnership. St. Andrew Anglican Secondary. Please proceed and choose the next clue. Give me an A for $40, please. Give me an A for $40. Production at Annadale Water Treatment Plant drops by 30%. Water is fed from Grand Tang Lake to remedy the shortfall by this process. St. David Catholic. Under gravity. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. The question is now offered. I'm sorry, the time has passed. The correct answer is what is augmentation? Give me a W for $40, please. Give me a W for $40. This requires government, private sector, and civil society's collaboration to deliver improved water security. St. Joseph's Convent. Water insecurity. What is water insecurity? I'm sorry, that is incorrect. It is now offered. St. Andrew Anglican Secondary. What is waste management? I'm sorry, that is also incorrect. The correct answer is what is water stewardship? Give me an R for $30, please. Give me an R for $30. The flow of excess water over the Earth's surface. St. Andrew Anglican Secondary. What is surface runoff? You are correct. What is runoff or what is surface runoff? Give me an A for $30, please. Give me an A for $30. As of April 2016, this land of 365 beaches would have experienced drought for a total of 33 months. St. Joseph's Convent. What is Antigua? You are correct. Please go ahead and choose the next clue. Give me a W for $30, please. Give me a W for $30. When treating water, NAWASA follows the guidelines of this organization headquartered in Geneva, Switzerland. St. David's Catholic. Pa what is PAHO? No, that is, that is incorrect. The question will now be offered. St. Andrew Anglican. What is GIZ? That is also incorrect. The correct answer is what is the World Health Organization, WHO. Give me an R for $20, please. Give me an R for $20. This is the state of water before the treatment process. St. Andrew Anglican. What is raw water? You are correct. Please go ahead and choose the next clue. Give, give me an E for $20, please. Give me an E for $20. While boiling water, you would notice at some point that the quantity you started with has decreased through this process. St. Andrew Anglican. What is evaporation? You are correct. Please go ahead and choose the next clue. Give me a T for $20, please. Give me a T for $20. 
Filters and water treatment processes are primarily used for removing or reducing watts. St. Joseph's Convent. Turbidity. You are correct. Give me a W for $20, please. Give me a W for $20. Mastering this management skill will ensure that water is available for future generations. St. Andrew Anglican. What is water sustainability? That is incorrect. It is now offered. St. David Scatlin. What is wastewater treatment? That is also incorrect. Participants, the correct answer is what is water conservation? Give me an A for $20, please. Give me an A for $20. The ICAST project is supporting this sector to become climate smart. St. Andrew Anglican. What is public utilities? That is incorrect. It is now offered. St. Joseph's Convent. What is agriculture? You are correct. Give me an R for $10, please. Give me an R for $10. Traveling through the parish of St. Patrick, then you can pay your water bill at this credit union there. What is the River Sally Credit Union? You are correct. What is the River Sally Cooperative Credit Union? Give me a W for $10, please. Give me a W for $10. The name of the process by which impurities are removed from water. St. Andrew Anglican Secondary School. What is water treatment? You are correct. What is water treatment? Give me an E for $10, please. Give me an E for $10. This happens to water when it freezes. St. Andrew Anglican. It changes from a liquid to a solid. That is not the uh, response I'm looking for. It is now offered. Grenada Boys Secondary. It expands. You are correct. Give me an A for $10, please. Give me an A for $10. The Italian word for water, if you can't say, you spell. St. Andrew Anglican Secondary. What is aqua? A-C-Q-U-A. You are correct. <laughs> Give me a T for $10, please. Give me a T for $10. It is a measure of of how hot it is. St. Andrew Anglican Secondary. What is temperature? You are correct. What is temperature? And we've come to the end of the first round, of the second round actually, of this competition. Don't go away. Remember the combat round is up next. We'll be back. No need to worry. That's why we have Noasa. Noasa supplies a quality, reliable, and sustainable source of water to our nation. Welcome back, viewers, and you are watching the Noasa Water Wars competition, of course, the second season. We are now in the second of a semi-final round, and our schools are doing very well. So let me provide you with the accumulated sum after the dispatch round. St. Joseph's Convent St. George, $100. Grenada Boys Secondary School, $50. St. Andrew Anglican Secondary School, $140. And St. David Catholic Secondary, $0. So it's now time to get into the combat round of the competition. And St. David Catholic, you will be in command of the board since you haven't yet accumulated any dollars so far. Let's see what are the categories in the combat round. And the categories are, who does that? Testing the waters, under the weather, is weeting. Everything but the kitchen sink. St. David's Catholic throws the first clue. Under the weather, $40. Under the weather for $40. 
Many regional countries experience drought conditions from this year's severe dry season, which officially runs for this six months. St. Joseph's Convent, St. George. January to May. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. It is now offered. Grenada Boys Secondary. What is December to April? I'm sorry, that is incorrect. The correct answer is what is December to May? St. Joseph's Convent, please go ahead and choose the next clue. Can I have who does that for $40, please? Who does that for $40? Nawasa's equivalent in the Twin Island Republic of Trinidad and Tobago. St. Andrew Anglican Secondary. What is the Central Water Authority? That is incorrect. St. Joseph's Convent. What is Wasa? You are correct. <clears throat> St. Joseph's Convent, please go ahead and choose the next clue. Can I have is waiting for $40, please? Is waiting for $40. A publication in the form of a newsletter by this name is produced quarterly by Nawasa's communications unit. St. Andrew Anglican Secondary. What is droplets? You are correct. Please go ahead and choose the next clue. Testing the waters for $40, please. Testing the waters for $40. And St. Andrew Anglican Secondary, you have chosen the interruption clue, which means you will not be getting the $40. However, in return, you'll be getting one credit union education's savings plan. And that's from the GUT Credit Union. A protocol for design and implementation of monitoring surface and groundwater. What is the information? Communications unit. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. What is water quality monitoring? St. Andrew Anglican Secondary, please proceed and choose the next clue. Everything but the kitchen sink for $40, please. Everything but the kitchen sink for $40. Not just the first natural line of defense, but this coastal ecosystem is also used to produce charcoal. St. Andrew Anglican. What is coral reefs? I'm sorry, that is incorrect. It is now offered. Grenada Boys Secondary. What is a beach? <laughs> I'm sorry, that is also incorrect. The correct answer is what is mangrove? St. Andrew Anglican Secondary, please go ahead and choose the, the next clue. Everything but the kitchen sink for $30, please. Everything but the kitchen sink for $30. Plant crops among trees by this practice aimed at protecting crops from strong winds. St. Joseph's Convent. What is agroforestry practices, integrated agroforestry practices? Okay, we will accept that answer. What is integrated agroforestry? Please go ahead and choose the next clue. Can I have testing the waters for $30, please? We're testing the waters for $40. I'm sorry, $30. This is how clear the water is. St. Joseph's Convent. What is turbidity? You are correct. Please go ahead and choose the next clue. Can I have who does that for $30, please? Who does that for $30? This department takes up responsibility for the water resource unit. St. Andrew Anglican Secondary. What is production and quality department? I'm sorry, that is incorrect. It is now offered. St. Davis Catholic. The Transmission and Distribution Department. I'm sorry, that is also incorrect. The correct answer is what is Planning and Development Department. St. Joseph's Convent, please go ahead and choose the next clue. Can I have is we thing for $30, please? Is we thing or is we thing, sorry, for $30. To provide customers with a safe, adequate, and reliable water supply and safe disposal of waste, this sentence makes up part of this. Grenada Boys Secondary. What is the vision statement of Nawasa? I'm sorry, that is incorrect. It is now offered. What is Nawasa's mission statement? You are correct. <clears throat> St. Joseph's Convent, please go ahead and choose the next clue. Can I have under the weather for $30, please? under the weather for $30. Tidal currents, wave action, and high winds all contribute to the wearing away of land and removal of beach, resulting in this. St. David's Catholic Secondary. What is erosion? 
Okay, I believe we will accept that answer. What is coastal erosion? St. David Catholic, please go ahead and choose the next clue. Everything but the kitchen sink, $20. Everything but the kitchen sink, $20. Any product of the condensation of atmospheric water vapor that falls under gravity. St. Joseph's Convent. What is precipitation? You are correct. Please go ahead and choose the next clue. Can I have who does that for $20, please? Who does that for $20? This parliamentary representative for St. George's Southeast is also tasked with responsibility for public utilities. St. Joseph's Convent. Who is Gregory, Honorable Gregory Bowen? You are correct. <laughs> please go ahead and choose the next clue. Can I have test in the waters for $20, please? Testing the waters for $20. The submergence of dry land by water caused by periods of heavy rains. St. Andrew Anglican Secondary. What is a landslide? I'm sorry, that is incorrect. It is now offered. St. David's Catholic. What is a drought? That is also incorrect. The correct answer is what is a flood? St. Joseph's Convent, please go ahead and choose the next clue. Can I have is waiting for $20, please? Is waiting for $20. Interested in everything, everything water? Then listen to this Nawasa produced program every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. St. Andrew Anglican Secondary. What is water wise? You are correct. Please go ahead and choose the next clue. Under the weather for $20, please. Under the weather for $20. The gradual increase in temperature of the Earth's surface caused by human activities that cause high levels of carbon dioxide and other gases to be released into the air. Grenada Boy Secondary. What is global warming? You are correct. Please go ahead and choose the next clue. Who does that for $10? Who does that for $10? And you have chosen the interruption clue. And please be reminded that you're going to be getting an education savings plan, and that's from the Grenada Union of Teachers, or the GUT Credit Union, sorry. And the question is, interested in a job at Noasa? Well, this department will ensure that you are afforded a fair chance. What is the Human Resource Department? You are correct. Please go ahead and choose the next clue. Under the weather for $10, please. Under the weather for $10. Contrary to popular beliefs, this is not the same as global warming, but occurs as a result of it. St. David Catholic. What is the greenhouse effect? Oh, that is incorrect. It is now offered. St. Joseph's Convent. What is climate change? You are correct. <laughs> please go ahead and choose the next clue. Can I have is waiting for $10, please? Is waiting for $10. In 2014, Nawasa's new website was launched as part of this activity. St. Joseph's Convent St. George. What is World Water Day? You are correct. <laughs> St. Joseph's Convent, please go ahead and choose the next clue. Can I have testing the waters for $10, please? Testing the waters for $10. Any domestic wastewater that is save sewage. St. Andrew Anglican. What is grey water? You are correct. Please go ahead and choose the final clue. Everything but the kitchen sink for $10, please. Everything but the kitchen sink for $10. Shwe is the word used to say water in this group of languages. St. David Catholic. What is Chinese? You are correct. What is Mandarin or Chinese? And we have exhausted all the clues in this round, and that would have been the combat round. However, viewers, we're not finished as yet. We have one final round left, and that's the destruction round. In that category, the clue is related to acronym. 
viewers at home, I know you're all just, just as excited as I am, but we have to take a short break, and when we return, we'll find out what the clue is. We'll be back. You don't need to worry. That's why we have Noasa. Noasa supplies a quality, reliable, and sustainable source of water to our nation. Welcome back, and you're watching Noasa Water Wars. If you are just joining us, it certainly feels like a battlefield here as we draw nearer to determine who will be making it to the finals on Friday. Now, these are the accumulated sums for the different schools in this, the second of the semi-final round. St. Joseph's Convent, they had $100 in the first round. In the second round, they got $190, giving them a total of $290. Grenada Boys Secondary, they had $50 in the first round, they gained $20 in the second round, which gives them a total of $70. St. Andrew Anglican Secondary School, they had $140 in the first round. In the second round, they gained $70, therefore that gives them a total of $210. And last but certainly not least, St. David Catholic, they had zero in the first round. However, in the second round, they were able to gain $40. Now, before the break, we reveal the category for the destruction round, acronyms. This round consists of only one clue to which competitors will write their response on the sheet of paper provided. Every competitor who responds to this clue correctly will win $200. And now, let's have a look at the clue. The clue, the meaning of the acronym IWAS. Participants, you have 30 seconds and your time starts now. Okay, participants, your time is up. Please place your markers on the podium and hold up your paper with the answer to your chest. And when I call upon the school, then you will be able to reveal your answers, of course, by reading it aloud. St. Joseph's Convent, St. George's. What is International Water Stewardship Program? Grenada Boys Secondary School. What is the International Water Stewardship Program? That's your final response? Yes. Okay, St. Andrew Anglican Secondary School. What is the International Water Stewardship Program? And St. David Catholic Secondary. What is the International Stewardship Program? International Water Stewardship Program. <laughs> okay. It seems like y'all will make Nawasa broke because everybody got the answer correct. So let me give the last uh, accumulated total. We have the St. Joseph's Convent. You guys have a total of $490. <laughs> Grenada Boys Secondary School, $270. St. <laughs> Andrew Anglican Secondary School, $410 and the St. David Catholic Secondary $240 therefore it means that the St. Joseph's Convent St. George's and also the St. Andrew Anglican Secondary School 
will be making it to the finals just like last year lucky you and y'all will be uh, joining Hillsborough Secondary for the benefit of the viewers. Hillsborough scored $300 and the Anglican High School with $280. Congratulations to all of you. Thank you once again to all our sponsors. Remind you that this competition was brought to you by the National Water and Sewage Authority, NOASA and the German Agency for International Cooperation, GIC, as part of the International Water Stewardship Program, IWAS, funded by the governments of Germany and the UK and implemented in cooperation with the Ministry of Agriculture, Lands, Forestry, Fisheries and the Environment. So I'm going to catch you guys on July 1st, the grand finale, and that will be this coming Friday. Thank you so much for viewing. Until next time, I am Linda Briefboy.